clouds swirling and crowds gathering, liquid nitrogen has long been one of the most visually intriguing elements of science. Watch these roses. Before being exposed to liquid nitrogen, you can see how soft and pliable they are. On exposure to liquid nitrogen, they go from supple to... But this goes much further than science fair show and tell. At temperatures below negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit, liquid nitrogen is at the core of cryogenics, a discipline that studies the behavior of material at extremely low temperatures. Cryogenics has been around since about the 1930s, 1940s, when they started developing nuclear technology. And ever since then, it's been used in space industry in the 1950s for testing satellites and that type of environmental atmosphere. And what a lot of people don't know is when you temper a metal, you actually increase the wear resistance up to three times or 300%. So while the roses shattered, different materials like metal become even stronger once exposed to the process. This has created a niche within the industry. Brake rotors and drill bits are now being treated with cryogenics, and the results are surprising which means your brake rotors are going to last instead of 30,000 miles, 90,000 miles. You're not going to be able to warp the brake rotors simply because they've been tempered at that point. It's, it's not a coating. It goes to the core of the metal. And when it goes to the core of the metal, you're not only treating the surface of it, you're going all the way to the core of that, which means it lasts all the way to the core of that metal. Businesses like this high-performance Corvette brake shop in St. Petersburg, Florida, are cryogenically treating everything from the brake rotors they sell to the tooling used in crafting them. I would say one of the major differences is starting with our tooling. When I was convinced that our tooling held up much better, it would last two or possibly three times longer, then I was a believer. As you can hear the noise in the background, that tooling, they're cutting rotors. He's sliding uh, slots in it that release the gas. But the real important thing is the cryogenically treating. We have to do our slotting before we do our treating. Once we've treated them, it's so tough that it would tear up the tooling. So step number one is do your cutting and your machining and then cryogenically treat them. That in itself is a good proof. Because things like brake rotors can last so much longer, there is less waste, making this a greener approach when using metals and other materials. The average person would be very surprised on how much uh, the cryogenics has touched their lives. The industries that are using it, the sports industry, nylon, fishing line, the fishing industry is now being used cryogenics to extend the life and strength of fishing lines. Golf clubs are being cryogenically treated to hit the ball straighter and further, and the baseball industry is using an aluminum bats. I think it's going to be introduced in the mainstream uh, USA in terms of uh, the sports industry as well as the automotive and fleet business. Whenever you cryogenically treat a metal, for example, a brake loader, a razor, a knife, those are everyday parts that we use. Imagine if you cryogenically treated all those parts and lasted three times longer, you'd have three times less waste inside your landfill. Therefore, cryogenics is a green product. You've got engines that can be cryogenically treated that would last a lot longer and would not break down. It would run more efficiently because when an engine is cryogenically treated, it actually re reduces the friction inside the engine. You actually increase gas mileage. And we're going to be able to touch every single industry in helping them become green. What appears at first glance to be the stuff of science fiction Cryogenics is in fact very real. As the technology continues to evolve, it is becoming more mainstream in areas you would least expect. Cryotherm is on the leading edge of cryogenically treated materials. What was once an extremely lengthy and expensive process, the experts at Cryotherm can achieve the same outcome quickly and at a fraction of the time and cost. They do so by using a proprietary method that cools and heats materials like metal to a point where they can last up to three times longer than untreated metal. 
Everything from shaving razors to drill bits and even brake rotors are now being treated using this process. In the racing industry, it's shortened the stopping distance, so it's allowed the vehicle to have a, a much shorter stopping distance at higher speeds. Uh, because of the process, it has taken the stress out of the steel and allowed that uh, brake drum and or rotor to perform much better at not only higher temperatures, but higher speeds. In order to win a race, you have to be able to stop fast. You can't stop fast, you can't go fast. With the racers, they were able to go race after race without having to change those rotors. The idea of treating them and lasting race after race has been a blessing for everyone. Cryotherm can significantly reduce the amount of maintenance and waste many companies currently experience, creating a more green environment. The experts here can show you how. The difference is in the science. The difference is cryotherm. To find out how cryogenics can work for you, visit us at cryotherm.com today.